Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to The Correct Views. Sam I. B. DeGangi reporting for the media speaks. And before I get started, I'm going to get two questions before I even begin, so I'm going to answer them. Why am I going on at 6 a.m. instead of 4.30 or 5 in the morning like I normally do? And why is this video only available in webcam quality, not the HD? The answer to both questions are for the same reason. Um, there is something very, very big going on. And I can't say any more than that, because if I do, I'm going to mess up the dreams and ambitions of a lot of people that are making it happen, because legally, we have not uh, signed all the, uh, dotted all the I's, crossed all the T's, but the correct views is very likely going to end up syndicated uh, in a local market to where I'm at. And uh, we just need to make sure it's really going to happen before I say any more than that. But that's where I've been. I've been talking to that person. And it looks like things are going very, very well. And I'm happy because that's going to help people like the Arcadia Grill that have been with me. Um, really, they were my first advertiser. A lot of you are going to mention Bud K. Bud K is a wonderful advertiser of the media speaks of which I'm a part of. But um, the Arcadia Grill was the correct views first advertiser, and uh, as was uh, the, the Happy Puppy. So friends, that's what I'm working on. Also, I'm doing an Alex Jones video, the contest, and the HDEF, the um, camera has been used for much of its filming, so the HDEF is not available. So I'm going to get right into the news. If you're new to the show, and well, that's, I don't normally take so long to begin, but for my regular listeners, uh, some things have changed, and I want them to know why. It's not going to stay that way for me. Um, Obama's secret treaty will merge America into the emerging one world economic system. This is the economic collapse of Michael Snyder, one of my favorite journalists. Um, this, to say that it's bad news, is like saying that the sun is a little bit warm, or that Obama is a uh, less than perfect president. Listen to this. This is very, very, very important. Did you know that the Obama administration is negotiating a super secret trade agreement that is so sensitive that he isn't even allowing members of Congress to see it? The Trans-Pacific Partnership is being called the NAFTA of the Pacific and NAFTA on steroids. But the truth is that it is so much more than just a trade agreement. This treaty has 29 chapters, and only five of them have to do with trade. Um, when I was in high school, there was an article, I forget which uh, politician said this, but they called uh, things like this Christmas trees. He said, unfortunately, we uh, can't work on, uh, I'm going to paraphrase, fortunately, we can't do our jobs like we're supposed to because we're looking for these Christmas trees. And uh, he meant, uh, as an analogy, is what he meant. Let's say I am having a, uh, a bill being put through Congress, and uh, it has to do with fuel consumption. In it is $10,000 in tax cuts to people that have a wind farm. People that read the bill, okay, the bill many times based on their name, and in it, can be uh, pork, it can be all kinds of dubious things, it can be things that bring, uh, you know, money, it's usually things that bring money to a certain area to get a politician reelected. Uh, sometimes they're needed, sometimes they're not, but they're snuck in. So anytime you see these sorts of things, automatically that should make you wonder, when something in the bill doesn't have anything to do with what the bill is named, red flags. Now, again, not always, because sometimes you maybe you'll have a farm bill and you need to tie it into the internet. Or maybe you're using the internet to get the work done. I can understand that. What I mean is anytime there are clauses within the law that are so drastically different from what the law is made, without any explanation as to why, that automatically raises suspicions. Also, anytime something is moved, fast-tracked, or pushed through Congress, without everybody in Congress being allowed to uh, read it, then that is also, I would say, a huge red flag. <coughs> so listen to this. And I'm going to read a lot of this because it's very important. Most Americans don't realize this, but this treaty will fundamentally change our laws regarding internet freedom, health care, the trading of derivatives, copyright issues, food safety, environmental standards, civil liberties, and much more. 
Um, friends, whenever you hear the word derivatives, think gamble. What they're doing is, uh, let's say uh, your, your derivative is oil. You are betting that oil is going to do this in the market during such a time that's spelled out in the derivative. So every time you hear the word derivative, just think bet. Also, maybe you're thinking, oh, Sam's crazy. We're not going to listen to this long hair guy. What does he know? He's an idiot. Half of what he says is BS. All right, fine. Half of what I say in this article is BS. Half of what Michael Snyder wrote is BS. It regards internet freedom, health care, the trading of derivatives, copyright issues, food safety, environmental standards, civil liberties. Right there, listed. It said, and much more. That's seven. Okay. I'll even give you the benefit of the doubt. We'll take Sam's crazy, 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 crazy. All right, we still got three left, people. What of that list don't you care about? Because even if I'm half crazy, it affects a lot of things that you care about. So listen, and no, I'm not half crazy, though Christelle would argue it. Um, it is also it will also merge with the I can read. It will also merge the United States far more deeply into the emerging one world economic system. Initially, 12 nations will be a party to this treaty, including the United States, Mexico, Canada, Japan, Australia, Brunei, Chile, Malaysia, New Zealand, Peru, Singapore, and Vietnam. Together, those nations represent approximately 40% of global GDP. It is hoped that additional nations, such as the Philippines, Thailand, and Colombia, will join the treaty later on. <clears throat> It goes on, there are some very good reasons why Obama does not want the American people to know anything about what is in the treaty. This agreement will impose very strict internet copyright rules on the American people. It will ban all Buy American laws. It will give Wall Street banks much more freedom to trade risky derivatives and will force even more domestic man manufacturing ashore. So let me, let me offshore, let me break this down. For people that are new to the show or new to this, for those of you that don't know, the correct views spell things out for people as if they've heard about it for the first time. Why? Because maybe they have. Um, if you're someone that isn't hearing this for the first time, use the comment line. If, if there's something that you can make clearer than I made, I ain't going to yell at you. By all means, please do. Um, for one thing, the copyright rules. It is forbidding anybody to have a temporary file of a copyright and piece of music, among other things. Well, the very way that you're watching this show, which is Creative Commons, you're allowed to remix it, please do. That'll put it on your channel. I would appreciate it. Um, but what is allowing you to watch this show on YouTube is that it's buffering and that it is creating a temporary file. So the way the law is worded, simply watching a YouTube video would create a temp file and you would be guilty of a copyright infringement and could face legal repercussions. It'll ban all Buy American laws. Well, that's a great idea. We need more Chinese garbage in this country. And it will give Wall Street banks much more freedom to trade risky derivatives. That means take gambles with your money. And if it doesn't work, the government bails them out like they did last time with your tax money as your prices go up. And it will force more domestic manufacturing offshore. That means we will send more of our jobs overseas, um, not less. We will be seeing um, more of the American people working at part-time jobs and uh, almost starving them to death. That's what that means. Uh, it reloaded. I think I hit reload on accident. I love when you do that. Please thank God my internet speed is fast. It contains a whole host of things that Obama would be unable to get through Congress on his own. But he is hoping to spring this on Congress at the last minute and get them to agree to this free trade agreement before they realize all the things that are contained in it. The secrecy surrounding these treaty negotiations have really been unprecedented. The following is an excerpt from a Kurt Nemo article, and I want to read the whole paragraph. And for those of you that know, I don't usually like to do that. But I do have a few stories coming up where time needs to be spent, where I, I need to say exactly what these boneheads have said. Uh, not Kurt Nemo. Um, and I also need to um, sometimes break down what it is because I think you get so many news, for those of you that care about this as I do, 
you get so much music, sometimes it all just blends together, and I want people to listen to this, because this is a disaster. Since the beginning of TPP negotiations, that is the treaty, uh, the process of drafting and negotiating the treaty's chapters has been shrouded in an unprecedented level of secrecy. WikiLeaks notes in the statement on the release of the TPP draft. It says, according to drafts of the TPP chapters, it is shielded from the public, the general public. Members of the U.S. Congress are only able to view selected portions of the treaty-related documents in highly restrictive conditions and under strict supervision. Does that sound like parents? I'm not a parent, but parents out there, if your kid said that, now yeah, that's a great idea. Well, what you you don't you don't you think because these are old adults that they're any better with this kind of power? No, absolutely not. They're turning us into a one-world nation. And even if you hate God in you, you don't like Jesus is nothing to you, fine. Read a uh, reading the book of Revelations isn't going to do you any good if you're not a Christian because it uses imagery from the Old Testament, and if you don't know that, then it doesn't sound like it makes any sense. But go to a website. I can't think of one off the top of my head. I think ChristianRevelation.com, but if not, you'll find it. Uh, forget about Jesus. Just ignore every mention of Jesus in Revelation if that's what you desire. Look at the number of prophecies in the Bible that have come true. Even if you are not a Christian, and I am not asking you to become a Christian from watching me on YouTube, what I'm saying is look at the number of prophecies that came true, and you will at least come to the conclusion that if there was ever prophets in the world, that these people, in fact, were prophets. You don't have to be a Christian to see that the prophecies regarding a one-world government are coming true in the order and in the way and that is laid out in the Bible. And it's not just Revelation, so to some degree it's also Daniel. Um, the, the plagues in the Bible, many people, and I, I'm one of them, this is what man does to man. That is what I think we're seeing. And it is happening. So you don't have to be a Christian to see that it's true. I'm not an astronaut, but I can read their writings, and I can see if what they're saying is true. You following my logic here? Members, oh, I read that. It has been previously revealed that only three individuals in each TPP nation have access to the full text of the agreement, while 600 trade advisors lobbyists guarding the interests of large corporations such as Chevron, Halliburton, the ever-healthy Monsanto, and Walmart are granted privilege crucial access to sections of the treaty of text. So basically, you trust Walmart because they got to read it when your elected official did. The person you voted for, he didn't get to see it. Halliburton with Dick Cheney, I did. And there is not with Halliburton. I'm being facetious. Obama reportedly, it says, is seeking trade promotion authority, which would give him the ability to sign this treaty before Congress even votes on it. Normally, free trade agreements, it says, must be authorized by a majority of the House and Senate, usually in lengthy proceedings. However, the White House is seeking what is known as trade promotion authority which would fast-track approval of the TPP by requiring Congress to vote on the likely lengthy trade agreement within 90 days and without any amendments. Yeah, sh shut up, don't add anything, Hitler has spoken. The authority also allows Obama to sign the agreement before Congress even have a chance to vote on it, with lawmakers getting only a quick post-facto vote. Uh, Democrats, Obama supporters, I'm not talking down to you. Did you vote for a Democrat for Congress? Good. Obama has decided that your Democrat isn't allowed to see this before he's asked to vote, he or she. Or in our day and age, it. Um, he's not allowed to see it. It's forbidden. He's going to have to vote along his party line, so there's going to be repercussions down the line, so he votes for it. Obama just took the vote of the person you voted for. 
because he didn't get a say. So this applies to Democrats too, of which I am not, for those of you that wonder. I'm a libertarian. Um, in essence, Obama is trying to make a giant and a run around Congress on dozens of different issues that are addressed in the treaty. Um, it mentions here that there are Republicans and Democrats on both sides of the issue that sent a strongly worded letter uh, against it. It says, um, countries will be obliged to conform to their all domestic laws and regulations to the TPP's rules. In effect, a corporate coup d'etat, that is a takeover. The proposed pact would limit even how governments can spend their tax dollars. So now, uh, with an arm that is over the U.S. The U.S. doesn't get to decide how tax dollars are spent anymore if we are part of this treaty. There are other people that get to decide how our tax dollars are spent. The proposed tax pact would limit even how... Uh, but um, why do I always do that? Buy America and other buy local procurement preferences that invest in the U.S. economy would be banned... So they're stopping uh, money that would invest in anything that may help only the U.S. And sweat-free human rights or environmental conditions on government contracts could be challenged, meaning if China wants to make you work in a sweatshop for 10 cents a day, maybe we can too. If the TPP comes into fruition, its retrograde rules could be altered only if all the countries agreed on domestic election outcomes or changes in public opinion. And unlike domestic legislation, that is to say U.S., the TPP would have no expiration date. So once we're in it, we can't get out of it unless everybody else votes to let us out of it. So we're going to turn over sovereignty so that other people can make their decisions for the U.S. Other countries can decide what we must do. You know what? Who's with me? To hell with that! Write your representative. I just spent almost 20 minutes giving you facts. I never spend that long on a story, but I do have some that I simply have to do that to. Um, guys, one uh, one more along the lines of um, Big Brother, uh, by that, maybe Bigger Brother, uh, people trying to control the U.S. now, and not that the, uh, the U.S. hasn't been controlling its own people for too long. U.N. Climate Panel, Corrupt Carbon Numbers, an influential report, more proof that man-made global warming is a lie. Somebody put a house beat behind that. The United Nations Panel of Climate Experts that revised the estimates of historical greenhouse gas emissions made in September, both up and down on Monday, but said the errors did not affect conclusions at that time and was running out of to limit global warming. More heat waves, floods, and rising sea levels are forecast in the from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, which guides governments on shifting towards cleaner energy sources. The panel had hoped to avoid more corrections after an embarrassing error about Himalayan ice melts in the 07 report. In other words, they've been caught with uh, crappy data forever, is what that means. Uh, they're lying about global warming. Look at Climate Gate. I say that all the time. Uh, I don't see it as a significant change, IPPC Chairman Regenda Petchery told Reuters on the sidelines of a November 11th, 12th meeting of almost 200 nations in Warsaw, Poland. Among changes, the IPCC revised down the cumulative amount of carbon emitted since 1860 to 1881 to 515 billion tons. The 531 given in September and revised up the amount emitted since 1750 to 555 billion tons to 545. Global emissions are now running at about 10 billion tons of carbon per year, meaning that those meaning those change are equivalent to about a year and a half of emissions. Errors in the summary for policymakers were discovered by authors of the report after its approval and acceptance by the ICC. IPCC, it said in a statement. It did not say how the errors had been made. Yeah, I can tell you how it was made. They have been doing everything in their power to prevent the average thinking person from realizing that man is not changing the climate of the planet at all. 
It's an excuse to tax you, and it's something that the UN has been pushing for a long time, just like the last story. Friends, I want to go to savechildrenfromradiation.org, and this is my Fukushima mini update because a lot of people watch these, and uh, you know I, I've been on this since day one. Dr. Shigeru Mita addresses the need of blood examination among children in the Kanto area. I'm going to read you this interview. Uh, for one thing, he wants to evacuate Tokyo, and I agree. It's not the way he worded it, what he said. Listen to this. I'll let him speak for himself. Please tell us about the examinations that are conducted by the Mita Clinic. Uh, what they're doing is checking, for, uh, checking children for signs of cancer since the uh, Fukushima disaster melted down and is spewing radiation all over Japan, which is coming to California. If this is your first time to the show, I'll let my regular listeners sing it to you. Do not live in Hawaii, California, Washington, Alaska, Oregon. Um, the states I named outside of Hawaii, I mean West Coast. Do not eat anything from any of those places. Eat nothing out of the Pacific Ocean. Take at least 3,000 milligrams of vitamin C. It won't prevent you from getting damaged, but it will help greatly. Since October of 2011, we have carried out blood examinations, which include differential white blood cell count and thyroid ultrasound examinations. The WBC, that's white blood cells, consists of five different kinds of cells. Neutrophil, remember that, lymphocyte, um, eosinocyte, basophil, and monocyte. The different WBC count consists of comparing the ratio of occurrence between these five cells. Workers who work in environments with high radiation levels have to take ionized radiation health checks, which particularly focus on differential WBC count. Don't zone out. It doesn't stay this complicated all the way through. All I'm saying is that they test the cells in the way I just read. In the current situation, the thyroid ultrasound examinations have been getting a lot of attention, but I consider differential WC count to be rather important as well for assessing the effects of radiation. Do you mean that we can understand the impact of radiation on humans by checking differential WBC count? Yes, he says. Blood is produced in the bone marrow, which is why you should take calcium, which is one of the organs that are most vulnerable to radiation. If the bone marrow is exposed to high doses of radiation, the quality and ratio of blood corpuscle cells can be damaged. Damaged cells can lead to a lot of health problems, people. The values of differential WBC count can be affected easily by even a tiny inflammation in the body, which is what radiation is. So at our clinic, we first take a close look at the patient's conditions, such as the symptom of inflammation and liver function. Liver failure will kill you, ask my poor dad. So this is important. If a patient is diagnosed by such conditions, we ask him or her to undergo the blood examination only after full recovery. It is possible to see tendencies by areas by evaluating the data of hundreds of thousands of people. So if the mean value for the result of the collective blood exams is not very good, it can indicate the need for decision making of whether one should keep living in the area. Oh, you zoned out when it got all technical. He's telling people that this will kill them if they are in its plume. Don't zone out. By the way, on the ongoing Fukushima Health Management Survey in Fukushima Prefecture, the differential WBC counts have been conducted only on residents who have resided in the evacuation zone. But I think all the residents of northern Kanto and metropolitan Tokyo areas should be encouraged to take this examination. They're trying to not get this examination out because it will show that uh, GE, which is TEPCO, has messed up so badly that they have destroyed the largest city in the world. Living there will likely give you health problems. Can I be more clear? We have found changes in the children's differential WBC counts. Could you tell us about it? Yes, our patients mostly come from Tokyo, Chiba, Kanawaga, Saitama, and other northern Kanto areas. Keep in mind, people, that it's coming here in the jet stream. It's going to take a minute, but it's on the way. I have found an obvious decline on neutrophil value and leukocyte 
of these children. Now, what's that mean? Listen to the numbers. It's not hard to follow. There's a few big words. Just listen. I'm kidding. But please listen to this. Please. This is important. Your health is going to be devastated in this way because this radiation does not dissipate the way that they say that it does. And this has been proven by people like Chris Busby, Helen Colicott, Lauren Moray, Kevin Blanche, and Mr. Bilky the Clown. It's a sight. It's not a clown. The pediatrician's general textbook says that reference value of neutrophil for healthy children ages 6 to 12 is between 3,000 and 5,000. 3,000 is considered as the threshold value, but the mean number of neutrophil values of children who have visited our clinic since the accident have decreased to 2,500. The mean value should normally be 4,000, but it has shifted to 2,500. It is lower than the threshold of 3,000. I think this points to a serious problem. And if you go to uh, the site and you say childrenforradiation.org, the, uh, the numbers are up there. I'm not going to read the whole chart. It asks what would happen if the ratio of neutrophil in the WC declines. It doesn't matter if you understand any of it. This is what happens if it occurs to you. Decrease of neutrophil does not directly cause lowered immunity strength. Neutrophil usually takes up 60% of the leukocytes and it kills bacteria and fungus which enter the body by incorporating them inside its own cell. This is your blood. Neutrophil functions as the last bastion in the immune system, which means that there are a number of stages in the immune system before neutrophil is called upon to suppress the actions of bacteria and fungus. So a decline of neutrophil value does not mean it immediately causes weakness in catching cold or infectious diseases. But we should be careful that extremely low values of neutrophil can lead to fatal illnesses such as septicemia in the case of aggravated colds. So what it's saying is radiation is bringing down the health so badly that if this continues, you can actually die of complications from a cold. That's how much the radiation will weaken you. Uh, it says, can you give some concrete examples of the kind of symptoms that we will see when the value of neutrophil decreases? Um, even if the neutrophil is, the level is low, that doesn't necessarily mean the children will feel bad or that they will become vulnerable to disease. It says. Like I said before, it means that once a child becomes sick and the condition doesn't improve, the risk for that child's condition becoming serious increases. Furthermore, not only will the value of neutrophil become abnormal to you, but you will see changes in physical condition. In the summer of 11, there were many children with bloodshot eyes, and what we saw most were children with dark circles under their eyes. Children, that's unusual, people. We also had increased incurrence of sinusitis. Previously, these patients got better soon after they were given proper treatment. However, we are seeing more cases of sinusitis accompanied by a mild case of asthma Continuing for longer periods. So now you've got sinus problems. Now you've got asthma. See what radiation does. It doesn't just kill. I'm not afraid to die. I'm he man. All right? It doesn't kill you all of that. It makes you very, very sick before it does so. Want to be sick your whole life? No, the move. And when these children spend some time in the rest, they get better. It is all possible. If at all possible, I would like to move them away from East Japan. For those Lady Gaga fans, East Japan would be Tokyo. The largest city in the world should be evacuated because of these idiots at GE. Is the increase in the value of neutrophil caused by radioactive contamination? Since radioactive substances coming from Fukushima, Daiichi's nuclear power plant have reached Tokyo, and huge amounts of contaminated waste is being burned here as well. And uh, Chris Busby mentioned uh, that they're moving the burning of the debris all over Japan which is releasing radiation all over Japan. That way, when everybody in Japan comes down with these radiation sicknesses, they can say that it's impossible for that to have happened because they're in the east part of Japan, and of course the jet stream moves from Japan to California, not from Japan to Europe, so they'll say that it was impossible. Therefore, they can't be sued. They're spreading the radiation all over Japan on purpose by burning the debris from the earthquake all over Japan. See how that works? It says, I cannot deny the possibility that we are inhaling radioactive substances contaminated in the air. And of course, we get food from Japan, which the Obama administration has not been testing. Again, let me repeat that after the nuclear accidents, enormous amounts of radioactive nuclear substances were released into the environment. That would be the water that you get your fish from, do not eat seafood. 
from the Pacific. Therefore, if you see an increase in symptoms that are different from the ones that we've seen before, we physicians should first consider the effects of radioactivity, not the bottom line. You notice that? What should be done if the value of neutrophil is low? Uh, as for the numerical values of tests taken by children at our clinic are considered, even if the neutrophil value is low, we have seen that in most cases these children will recover after spending two weeks in western Japan. Of course, no, it's more important to live in Tokyo, so you move it right back and let your kids die. When we tested a child whose original neutrophil value was 1,000, which is incredibly low, after the child had spent some time in Nagano, the level heading recovered to 4,000. We also had a child whose value was zero, but the level rose to 2,000 after spending two months in Kyushu and then eventually to 4,000. The reason for that, people, is this screen right here is the United States. This is the, this is the West Coast. This here is Japan. The nuclear power plant is right here. And it's fissioning, and it's bringing all kinds of poison. And all of this area here is poison because of its... its. But over here, this part of Japan is not getting it so bad because the jet stream, the way the world turns, brings everything this way. That's why I'm saying America is in trouble from this. But certain people in the other part of Japan, uh, after the initial blast, it appears to be a little bit safer because they are on the other side. So everything I'm reading to you there, it's on its way here, and it is not greatly diluted. This is what we are going to be looking at. That's why I'm reading all of this. If the value is really low, some children have difficulty recovering to the average level of 4,000, even after evacuating to the West. So you can do irreparable damage to yourself and your family. So my advice is, if you see some abnormal changes in numerical neutrophil value, you should evacuate to a place that is not contaminated. Genius! The value of neutrophil has been relatively stable among children who are evacuated to a clean place, even for a few weeks at a time. But my real hope is to not have just children, but also adults, move away from Tokyo. And since it's blowing over to the east coast, move of the west coast of the U.S. East coast, because it's moving to the west coast of the U.S. Don't live there. Well, it says that they found some uh, problems in adults. It says uh, the thyroid test needs to be true. Um, I, I'm going to let you guys go ahead and read the rest of it. I spent a lot of time on that. But again, since the low def is up, I've got a little more room to play. Guys, I want to ask you to go to the mediaspeaks.com and click on Bud K. I do it in that order, mediaspeaks.com, Bud K. When you do, you're going to find a I, I just don't, I always like to go to the page and just pick random stuff because they have so much fun stuff. Of the Hobbit, Orcus Sword and Thor and Oaken Shield from The Hobbit, $174.99. If you know anybody that is really into The Hobbit, they will love this. It's an absolute real replica. Um, and maybe you know somebody that is into uh, brass paperweight black. It's uh, brass not $8.99. Um, what's some other cool stuff here? The Military Watch by Smith and Wesson, normally $49.99, $29.98. Friends, go to TheMediaSpeaks.com, click on Bud K, and know that you're going to get great merchandise and that you will be helping The Media Speaks. Uh, a few more stories to get to. I won't be spending as much time on these, but again, since uh, the high def isn't running, I'm just going to go with uh, the flow here. Sarah Palin's talk about federal debt slavery drives liberals crazy. Kurt Nemo Infowars. Um, he was quoted in the other article too. Kurt Nemo has been quite prolific. Um, would Sam like to see Sarah Palin as president? No. Would I like to see it over Hillary Clinton? Yes. The trouble with her is, when she's wrong, she's like every other Republican. But when she's right, she's a hundred times more right than any Republican. Her drill baby drill was absolutely true in every possible way, because as we mentioned earlier, man is not warming the planet, and man made global warming. Why? Um, well, she did it again. She's once again absolutely nailed the comparison on the head. Uh, they're calling her racist for this. She's not racist. 
because not all slavery is based on race. It used to be based on debt. Again, for those that read the Bible, know this. The Bible never allowed slavery based on race. As a matter of fact, when it did happen, the Lord was reportedly very irate. Um, she is referring to slavery caused by debt, which is usually in history uh, prior to the modern times what in fact caused slavery. You would end up owing a certain amount of money and then you would become, uh, for lack of better words, a mentioned servant and become a slave to them until you worked off the debt. Usually racism does not refer to color. Uh, in the Bible, or race, when um, in the Bible, it was reported, and again, if you don't believe in it, you don't have to believe in it, but the Bible does not condone uh, racial slavery. It, it's saying that it happened based on income, and when Egypt tried to do it to a race, uh, it did not end well for Egypt. So racism is not condoned in the Bible. But I got sidetracked. Palin compares the national debt to slavery, and as I just spelled out for you, she is correct. Our free stuff today is being paid for by taking money from our children and borrowing from China, as she said in Iowa on Saturday. When that money comes due, it'll be like slavery when they notice you. We are going to be beholden to a foreign master. That is exactly, exactly what slavery is, is when you are beholden to a foreign master. It means is we are going to owe so much money to other countries that our future generations will not have a chance based on the amount of taxes and the price increases that will be implemented in order to pay that debt. Uh, for the Libs at Salon, the online magazine, it's a, it's a Salon sucks, that has squandered 83.6 million since its inception. Palin's comment about servitude harks back to the old Smith plantations, whipcrackers, and slavery. Once again, Sarah Palin appears confused about United States history. She said slave. At no point did she say United States slavery of black people. In a speech at the Iowa Faith and Freedom Coalition's fall fundraiser over the weekend, the former Alaska governor and Republican vice presidential candidate Liken the federal debt to slavery, Jenny Cutler leads off. Yes, and she's speaking of slavery as in needing to be beholden to a foreign master. She did not say anything about race. Again, usually slavery is not race motivated. It was, unfortunately, in this country. Democrats invariably like in any criticism of Obama, Democrats in Congress, socialism, and the policies of the federal government are racist. It's really the only weapon they have when faced with reality. Ultimately, debt is slavery, Ron Paul wrote in 04. Every dollar that the federal government borrows makes us less secure as a nation. How? By taking American beholden by making American beholden to interests outside our borders, that would be other nations. So when you hear a politician, politicians saying that America will do whatever it takes to fight terrorism or rebuild Iraq or end poverty or provide health care for all, what they really mean is that they are willing to sink America even deeper into debt. Guys, I can't spell it out any clearer. She was talking about our country becoming slaves to other nations based on our debt, and she's completely right. Um, if everyone thinks Sarah Palin's an idiot, uh, I don't think she'd be a great president, but I do know an idiot when I see one. She isn't, but Justin Bieber is. USAToday.com, I'm not going to spend much time on this. It mentions that, that he had food poisoning and he had to walk off stage. I didn't really, you know, whatever. Um, the reason I'm bothering to mention this is it says he also walked off stage in Brazil, ending a concert early after someone threw a plastic bottle at him. An unverified photo circulated on the internet, purportedly showing him crashed in bed, and Brazilian police tried unsuccessfully to question him about defacing a public building with graffiti, a crime that carries a year's prison sentence. In Argentina, wild, girl wild girls idiots, caused such a ruckus outside the Fena Hotel that Bieber had to leave. He then fled the Corolla for a Friday night concert and still had enough energy to take his entourage to Buenos Aires nightclub on Saturday morning. Oh, but he's exhausted. That's not why I'm boring you with an idiot like Bieber. Hang with me. The paparazzi videotape shows 
Beaver's bodyguards leaving the Ink Club after daybreak Saturday. Hustling someone out under a black sheet into one of two vans loaded with young girls. The bodyguards can then be seen chasing down and assaulting the nightclub's house photographer, Diogo Pessoa, and damaging his camera. So he's got, like, goons with him. According to an account, he gave the website uh, ciadad.com.ar. The photographer's lawyer, Matthias Morla, accused Beaver of approving the assault and said his bodyguards are legally, also illegally entered the club's security area to review videotapes of the incident. He said he obtained a court order barring the guards from leaving the country. After police tried to question the bodyguard, bodyguards at the second uh, hotel, the entourage relocated yet again. He's running from the police while hiding with thugs that are threatening club owners at gunpoint, or at least figuratively to a private property inside a gated community north of the capital reported to Lamb. Morla did not immediately respond to requests for comments, but federal police confirmed that Pissarra's formal assault complaint is being investigated by a federal prosecutor. So Justin Bieber now is like going to be all thug and all hard and all court. You are a talentless little whiny brat that was able to make it because Usher's talentless ass thought you could sing when he can't sing either. Uh, last thing I want to get to, prisonplanet.com. Again, got too many dumdies in one month to be able to do all the dunce camps in the month at the same time. And I was going to delete this one because I couldn't even work it in last month, but it was just too dumb for me to ignore. Family kayak and tube rental business shut down under Agenda 21. In yet another implementation, and Alex Jones writes that he has been there. The city of Austin is forcing Dan Walker to shut down his family-owned kayak and tube rental business. MOC Kayaks and Eastside Tubes has been operating within the city for more than eight years without any problems until Memorial Day weekend when Walker's neighbors reportedly reacted under the DHS See Something Say Something campaign. Reporting the business after they expanded from kayak rentals to tube rentals. Ooh and began facilitating a shuttle route starting below the Longhorn Dam and ending at the Monopus Bridge. Soon the city began making claims against Walker's business using nanny state regulations leading first to a closure and then to last week's court date. Despite operating without any problems for more than two years at his east side location, the city is now citing Walker for operating without a correct certificate of occupancy and even deemed his pathway to the water unsafe. Walker argues, and rightfully shows so, out of 20,000 customers that have safely navigated the footpath, no one has gotten hurt. And this illustrates that the citations used by the city are merely justifications for implementing Agenda 21. Agenda 21 is Agenda 666, for those of you that don't know. It's what the UN wants to do to us to make us uh, believe that man's warming the planet so they can tax us, tax us to death. It says, um, and allowing big corporate monopolies to function in the same fashion while shutting down mom and pop operations. That means if it's something that, you know, me and Billy Bob own, they can shut it down for these violations, but if a corporation owns it, they won't. It's no secret that in Austin, Texas, uh, the model city for Agenda 21, Corporate Fortune 500 issues, interests write these zoning laws globally to be implemented locally in an attempt to shut down all Main Street type operations. Basically, they are harassing a guy for having a kayaking business that doesn't have a path and doesn't apply, doesn't succumb and kneel, oh kneel and worship, kneel and worship in front of the United Nations because they want the United Nations to run the United States. Again, I say go to hell. You are listening to The Correct Views as Sam I.B. reporting for the media speaks. Gave it a nice long show today to make up for the lack of the Ultra HD camera. Do me a favor, hit share. That helps a lot. Don't forget to support the Arcadia Grill. As I said at the beginning of the show, they have delicious food. They're located on Corn Avenue. My family's gone there my whole life when my dad passed. Or we went there for the meeting after the calling hours. Great place to grab a drink and they have great food. 
Lastly, go to themediaspeaks.com and look up the work of Kyle Court, D. Lake, and myself. We're always posting articles and videos nonstop. Thank you, friends, for listening. Good night, and God bless.